Hey, Michelle, how you doing? Thanks so much for reaching out. It's, uh, it's great to you meet you. You actually caught me on a rare day. I'm not wearing a hat during this quarantine. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for reaching out. Um, I can definitely answer some of these questions. Um, yeah, it's great to hear that Bianca was one of your favorite uh, Drew couples because definitely, I think, definitely the most problematic relationship that Drew had, but uh, probably one of the most fun to kind of just be a part of and, 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 and film. Um, you know, me and uh, Alicia had... Uh, great chemistry and we really got along on set. I think one of the most important things is that when you're filming with someone, you should really, you know, be friends with them, and, if you're obviously supposed to be, um, but, you know, build that relationship offset. And I think that's something that, you know, me and Alicia did, you know, very well. And, and it, it made the relationship seem very, very real. Um, I think probably one of my favorite scenes that we had to film together was, um, you know, going back to, you know, the original boiler room days, <laughs> um, that was that was a lot of fun. But definitely all of the stuff that had to do with any of like the gang violence. I think we filmed the scene uh, in the middle of downtown Toronto and they shut down the entire uh, Dundas Square, which is like our equivalent of Times Square, kind of, not really. But uh, yeah, they shut that whole thing down. Uh, we got to film there um, during the season 10 finale. So that was a lot of fun, especially in like our first year together. We were both really new on the show. It felt really great to... Uh, get that um, opportunity to kind of close out the show in season 10. But where do I think they would be now? If Bianca didn't, of course, break his heart and turkey dump him, I think that's what it was called. Uh, I think that, you know, Drew right now is definitely um, keeping on that same path and trying to, you know, live on the legacy that, uh, you know, Adam left and uh, I'm trying to keep in contact with Dallas. I think, you know, a, a really big part of me does think that post Degrassi they probably got back together because you know what you know you look at all of Drew's relationships <clears throat> whether it's with Katie or you know Marisol back in the day a lot of it was very just physical and, and who he was kind of just attracted to and I think it was um his relationship with Bianca was a little bit different you know it was a more of a, an emotional connection they actually really understood each other um yeah yeah so I hope that answers some of your questions uh it's great to meet you and uh maybe talk soon thanks bye